So this is a quick how-to tutorial. This is uh, John Morway from Creative 3D. So when you're bringing an object, um, it always comes in as um, um, offset from the existing character. So what I've done here is I've created a exact uh, model of this, exported it out, and then I actually solidified it in Blender, brought it back in. And if I bring it back in as, let's say, you create a section here that says accessory, this is the way to kind of show you how to do this, but in all reality, when you bring this in, it, it, it actually does not align properly. You see how it's actually behind the object. You move it, it's not going to fit properly. It just doesn't work. So the way to get around this is real simple. When you go to File, Import, do the same exact thing, bring that same object back in, and what it does is it exactly creates exactly the copy that you had originally right where it was so you don't have to do any adjustments and once you do this a um, couple quick things you can do you first of all make sure this is selected so it's here and we can go in here and we can adjust it here on the parent so we're going to pick a parent so you're going to pick this parent here I'm going to just make this the root just because it's the basic start say okay and once I do that, now it's attached, but I still need to actually uh, modify this. So let's go back in here, just select the one object, and I'm going to actually apply transfer skin weights. So once I select this, I'm going to do the default, say apply. Takes a few seconds. Okay, so now it's done and actually applied. Go ahead and say close. And now that you've done that, it actually is attached. So a few things to do here. So if you go down to the bottom here, it says hide body mesh. I will always do this. Say you want to use this, this one object here. You don't want this stuff anymore. You got your own outfit now. This is an example. So you just delete all these things here. Delete this. So see how it completely fits. That's exactly what you wanted. So you could do a quick, like a superhero type comic book character with the skin tights <laughs> as an example. Um, anyway, you can do any clothes you want just to make this work right. Again, you don't have to do any adjustments, which is great. So now if you go in here, select it, and we're going to do hide body mesh tool. So now that we've done this, we can start going in. So what I normally do is I start with the basic. And I know I'm going to, this is the area that's highlighted now. So if I do that, I know the hands are completed. Make sure this is on mirror. So go ahead and hit that. The hands, they're all completely, I'm gonna hide all those. Now the legs are all the way through and the neck goes too high. So I'm gonna to go to the advanced section here. I'm gonna start selecting like this section right here. Select this section here and a little bit farther down. I know that the shoes are showing right above the space right here, so I'm just going to go there. Now once you've done that, you can just hit the minus button and that will hide it. So now that you've done all that, real simple stuff, the actual object is all hidden underneath. So when you actually add in a motion, so if you go down to the bottom here, add in a male walking motion. This should completely work exactly the way you think it should work. So now that you got your character, let's walk him. Nothing's coming through, nothing's uh, unhidden. So it's it's much easier to do this to try to adjust that to the T. Uh, this is what I find much simpler to do. Hope this helps. Please uh, subscribe. Thank you.